Hello, in this video, we are going to show you how to design backgrounds for multiple devices using the multi device philosophy that we've coined. So, what you need is our multi res template. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the GitHub page which has the source code from all the videos in this series and the project templates for actually I mean the multi res templates I'm using the portrait one but the philosophy is exactly the same for landscape and we also provide that as well once you got it all opened up just a quick overview of what we've got we've got iPhone 4 and below which is this orange line right here we've got iPhone 5 6 6 plus basically 16 by 9 ratio which is this blue rectangle then we got iPad aka 4x3 which is this red one and finally we've got a 16x10 which generally is just Android devices because there's no iOS device that is 16x10 which is the green one right there and what we've got is this background that we created for our game Mighty Dar and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking you know what we want to improve this because at the moment if we let's say just disable all the layers except for 16 by 10 it looks great on here we can see pretty much everything we're happy with that if you display on an iPad still happy <coughs> still happy with that display on an iPhone 5 it's still good but what we don't like is that part of the moon is cut off because if you essentially just have this part it doesn't really look much like a moon it just looks like a swoosh whereas this is pretty iconic for a moon sort of like the DreamWorks logo and we want all of this to be showing as well and when we go into iPhone 4 the story is even worse with everything as you can see so what we uh, yeah because it's also worse because at the bottom you've only got the top of the buildings showing and we want the bottom base as well so we want to reposition this this and this so it works on all the different devices so what we would recommend is actually enabling all of these and what we're going to do we're going to move this cloud first so it's just inside there we go we're going to find the moon layer just move this in and I'm looking at it I'm thinking I think the moon should be higher so I'm going to put the moon here and get this cloud and just reposition this somewhere around about there that's looking all good now and now the final thing we need to do is actually reposition the bottom part so if we just move this up just need to keep going keep going that is fantastic right there but the issue is let me just quickly close this group if I show you what it looks like on a 16 by 10 it looks fine at the top at the bottom you got this massive gap which we don't want we've got a similar issue on iPad we've got a similar issue on a 16 by 9 device it's only the iPhone 4 now which is an old device that it actually looks good on so let's just fix that up a little bit and to fix that up we're just going to create a new shape but we want to pick the color of this because it's not quite black it's slightly off so we want to keep the color uniform so let's pick a shape we're just going to use rectangle because that's really easy to use and we're going to create a rectangle round about here fill let's rasterize the shape fill in all these areas that weren't quite shaded properly and I think that's looking fantastic now let's just disable every single layer make sure it's looking all good it is so let's enable iPhone 4 this is the center part is how it would look fantastic iPhone 5 still looking fantastic iPad oh uh, the iPad looks amazing because it's got the full width that's where it's going to shine and 16 by 10 it's fantastic as well so that's how you would design a background the gist of this video 
it put all the crucial part within the orange rectangle anything outside of it it needs to be an extension of the background it doesn't need to be crucial so as a programmer designer and an artist anything that we want to convey as the main aspect of this background you want inside the orange part anything outside it just enhances what we're trying to convey that is already inside the orange part it's crucial that you actually create a background to the full width and the full height simply because if you only did it let's say just for the blue rectangle it'll work it'll be great on iphone 4 and 16 by 9 devices but when you get to something like a 16 by 10 or an ipad or other 4 by 3 devices you'll have black borders something you do not want at all all. So again, very crucial, just put all the crucial elements inside the orange rectangle. Anything else is just an extension of what's inside. And that's it for creating backgrounds using our multi-res 2.0 philosophy. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk for slash question.php. There'll be a link in the description. So check that out. There'll be another link in the description as we mentioned earlier in this video to the source code from every video in this series and the project, I mean the multi-res templates that's portrait and landscape. And just to iterate one more time, the process for landscape is exactly the same. Please rate, comment and subscribe as it really does help us understand what you like and obviously what you don't like about our videos. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.